Hello and welcome to Pastor's Library. My name is Stephen Redman and this is the channel where we talk about all things to do with theological books, whether they be for your bachelor's or master's reading lists, or whether they're just books that have mysteriously appeared on your minister's or pastor's library shelf. Uh, these are books which may help us along the way and um, uh, we just want to share some ideas with you that might be fruitful in your life. So if you like what we have to say, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to click subscribe and also to click on the bell. And that way you'll be among the first to know when we release a new episode of Pastor's Library. So today I want us just to have a look at some books to read around the book of Job. Uh, Job is a book which is quite difficult to read in some ways in that unless you really understand the genre of the book I'm not sure that it's easy to always interpret what is on the page um, and I spent a lot of time reading Job and um, I, I found that there were very very distinct differing viewpoints about what Job had to say and uh, I would just like to point out some of the better books uh, that you might engage with in your studies of Job. Job, of course, is a great book to study if you're looking into theodicy, which is that the study of, of God's uh, dealing with us, uh, about uh, dealing with evil, dealing with pain and suffering. And um, uh, there are lots and lots of authors who deal with that subject. And you will find huge variations in what they say, depending on their personal theology, or whether they're a determinist, whether they're a free will theist or so on. Uh, but um, today I just want to focus in just on a few mainly commentaries, but books that might help us as well with the study of Job. I'm going to start with the weird one, really, which is Archibald MacLeish, who won a Pulitzer Prize for his play called J.B., uh, which is about Job, and it's not quoting the Bible, it, it, it doesn't represent the Bible 100%, but it presents J.B. as a play, and it won this huge American award. And uh, I have to say to you, I've, I found it helped me with a few things, uh, because ultimately... Most people look at Job and say Job is a poem and um, it definitely has lots, great swathes of poetry in it. But I like the idea that is popular uh, with a, a number of commentators now that Job was always intended to be presented as a play. Um, and if you think about Job, chapter one uh, introduces us to what's going on in the heavens and um, uh, Job isn't aware of what we are being told. Uh, we're told what's going on. We're looking behind the curtain, so to speak, but Job isn't told that. And, and that, of course, is very much the type of thing you get in a play. And so whether you want to think of Job as a poem or as a play, I like to think of it as a play, uh, it's definitely uh, a worthwhile read uh, just to sort of open your mind a little bit to how things might be presented. Now, when I was studying Job uh, for my dissertation, um, I um, found the three volume word biblical commentaries by David Kleins to be an absolute godsend. Um, three volumes of books with about a thousand pages in the first two and a little bit less in the, the third one. They give tremendous amount of detail right from the original language going through. These are, at the end of the day, are an academic slash technical commentary. And um, whereas the layout of them isn't brilliant, uh, the content is. And David Kleins is one of the world leading voices, or has been one of the world leading voices in the book of Job. And um, whereas these are not cheap, not if you're going to buy all three, uh, but these are very, very good volumes indeed. A book which I have always gone back to is the New International Commentary on the Old Testament by John Hartley. Again, John Hartley is one of those names that goes down in uh, the study of Job. And uh, this is a great, 
great book. And what you'll find in, in this book, as you will in, in most of the better commentaries, is, is the idea that Job is written to dismiss, disprove the idea of punitive retribution. Uh, that everything that happens to us is because of what we've done and that um, uh, bad things happen to bad people and uh, that type of idea. And um, Hartley is very good at, um, at looking at this and helping us to note. Um, and uh, you'll find he has a lot to say about his wife's uh, encouragement to curse God, for example. Hartley is, is very, very good indeed on the book of Job. Um, a much more recent commentary is the New Beacon Bible Commentary by A. Wendell Bowes. And this is a good commentary. I found it very helpful. The layout is brilliant. Uh, they are very easy to access. Um, and it really is a very helpful volume on Job. But if I had to just say there is one commentary which I think is absolutely outstanding, it's also absolutely expensive and it's, it's also not even complete. There is just one volume of it out covering the first 21 chapters. This is So's commentary under the Illuminations series. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there's only this and Jonah that are out so far. Uh, we're right at the beginning of the rollout of this commentary series. But this is brilliant. And it has a phenomenal bibliography at different uh, points in the book. Uh, it's really incredible in the man's insight into this um, and so um, I have to say, I would really recommend you read this above anything else. Uh, it's a very, very good commentary. And it's so new. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's only been published since um, uh, 20, 2013. Um, and um, I'm hopeful that the second volume's about to come out. So watch out for that one. Um, Job in the Nivak is also helpful, um, probably not as good as the others, but uh, it's John Walton's writing. And frankly, I've never really read anything by John Walton that wasn't worth reading. He's quite a good commentator. And this is an excellent book too. Um, now, really, just three other books I want to mention to you. Uh, one is by Robert Fyall. Now. I like what Robert Fyall writes. Uh, he's, he's, he's very good. Um, and um, this is called Now My Eyes Have Seen You, Images of Creation and Evil in the Book of Job. And this will open your eyes to a lot of what's going on between the pages. And uh, I, I commend uh, Robert Fyall's work to you. Uh, this one is called On Job by Gustavo Guterres which I hope I've pronounced anywhere near the original. Um, and this is called On Job, and it's God Talk and the Suffering of the Innocent. And this is a really remarkable book. I found I could just sit down and read it. And um, I, I read it over a few evenings at home, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it it's a good book. And it's also got some interesting... Um, references on the back, uh, um, commendations by other people, one of which is Eli Wiesel, uh, the Nobel Laureate, who, uh, who commends this book. Uh, and then there are some good theological uh, names uh, from the Christian section as well. It's, it's a good book. Um, and I suppose the last one I'd just like to point out to you, if you're going to read around the subject, and, and let me just stress to you, reading around Job, there's a massive library of books, there really are. But I suppose the one that you really can't avoid is the Book of Job uh, by Harold Kushner, which is called When Bad Things Happen to a Good Person. And um, he, he's a, another book out there of a similar title, which isn't directly about Job. And he's gone back and he's written this. And, and I think it's an extremely good commentary um, by uh, a Jewish man on the book of Job. And there's a lot to be said for it. 
it will offer you some insight that you might not get elsewhere. So I think that's all we've got to time for today. But just to say, never be dismissive of the book of Job. Um, the more you read it, the better it is. And it offers so much when you understand the perspective of the author that he, they're trying to get you to debunk this idea that because Job is ill, uh, he uh, has, has done wrong, uh, which of course is what his uh, Job's comforters are, are pro 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 are proposing in this book. So it's, a, it's um, a well worth reading. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give us thumbs up. Remember to click subscribe and click on the bell and you'll know as soon as we issue another episode of Pastor's Library. God bless you.